Hey everyone, how's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you another episode of Coffee with Coach. Hope you're up doing well, got the mind in the right place, but if not, as always, let's put it in the right place. So, um, YouTube, it's tripping. Been watching all these Brady videos the last couple days, so now when I wake up in the morning, I got all these uh, recommendations, suggestions, and uh, Brady stuff, man. So, it's really good stuff. So, I'm listening to all these interviews and trying to fill my head with knowledge and how someone like that thinks and, and how they go about their day-to-day uh, -day activities and stuff like that, what they do to, to achieve success. So I wanted to go over uh, something that's very important um, that I think everyone can relate to at some point or another, at least I know I can, but that chip on your shoulder, right? That thing that's sitting on your shoulder because of maybe something that just didn't go your way, maybe someone didn't believe in you, maybe someone said something to you, um, you know, where they, you know, they just didn't believe that you could achieve a, a goal that you set forth. Um, you know, maybe it's just life that is just uh, testing you on all kinds of different levels. Um, so many different things that you can come up with to either, you know, break you down, hurt you, and make you want to quit or propel you to go off and do some really great things like a Tom Brady, like 199th um, pick and, you know, in the sixth round and stuff like that. You know, this video I was listening to, it's an interview because that was actually the name. That was actually the the title of the video. Um, oh, it says uh, Tom Brady still thinks about where he was uh, drafted at. And then there's another one about a chip on his shoulder. So, of course, I'm going to click on it because I want to hear what they have to say or what the interview was and stuff like that. So um, in this interview, this guy is talking, he's a reporter, and apparently he went to the locker room when um, Brady uh, broke Joe Montana's uh, touchdown record. And Brady's response was, cool, not bad for a uh, 199th uh, draft pick in the sixth round, huh? And he goes, man, like this guy is still holding on to that um, – to that on his on his chest on his shoulder after 15 years 15 years later you are still holding on to that chip on your shoulder of how you weren't picked in the first round second round third round even fourth round fifth round but in the sixth round like one of the last guys to be picked you were still he's still holding on to that um to this day to achieve greatness and um I think, like I said, a lot of us can relate to that because there's things where there's times where we do have a chip on our shoulder. And I feel like if we don't know how to control that in the right way, it can it can hurt us. It can definitely put us in a way to where we're sour, salty. Um, life isn't fair. Uh, you know, come up with any other thing that you want to say in that regard to where it's like you just want to just say the heck with it. I give up. I don't want any more of this. I don't want to try any more letting the other thing, person, obstacle beat you versus someone like Brady or anything, anyone else that has um, been denied an opportunity or, um, you know, wasn't really given a, a fair shot or looked down upon or really didn't, didn't look like it was possible that you could achieve something. Um, you can use that to push you to that next level to show people and prove them wrong to show them that you can do things. And in my life, I know I've had plenty and to this day, plenty, plenty of things and plenty of people that I personally like want to prove wrong all the time. Like every day, it seems like that's just what kind of fuels me to get up. You know, I, I there's other things, you know, that uh, that get me to get up. But one thing for sure is just, you know, haters people 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 that like to say things or or do things or don't believe in me or, or don't uh, think that I can do something or whatever I want to be able to be the last man standing the one when it when all the smoke clears after all the years are done that I'm still in the mix still doing my thing um, that's what pushes me that's what drives me and I can relate to this stuff because it's one of those things where you know I just wasn't given a lot of things, I had to work for it. You know, uh, you know, I'll use my business, my academy, for example. We're on 13 years now. I started in the garage with four students, okay? Four students, four or five students in my garage with some puzzle mats and some duct tape. Um, 
doing hip escapes and some break falls and some grappling in a two car garage. And now, you know, we're in a, uh, what was it? 15,000 square foot facility with a mass space of 4,700 square feet and, you know, 250 something students. I mean, how do you get there? Hard work. Didn't have, didn't, wasn't part of a franchise, isn't even part of, a, uh, you know, someone that just came in and invested in me and gave me a bunch of money just through pure hard work and, you know, people doubting me and people just saying, um, what are you doing? You're going to quit General Motors, give up a great paying job in insurance to, to do what? To do jujitsu, you know, to, to do something like that. Um, when you hear those things, yeah, it creeps into your mind. Like, yeah, it doesn't, uh, yeah, what am I doing, you know, for a split second? But then the other side to you is, um, I love this stuff. I have a passion for it. Um, I want to do it. I want to try it. I want to see where it can take me, um, you know, and what I can do with it. And we're still here. So, and we're doing great. And I can, you know, the, the, uh, the students that I have and the people around me that I have, um, push me to, to continue to do better. And so it's always that, uh, you know, just that chip on my shoulder that, that makes me get up every day to get the runs in, to get the workouts in, to, to eat like I'm supposed to eat in a healthy, uh, manner and to just do the things that I'm supposed to do. There's days again where, you know, I'm sure Tom Brady and everyone else out there, every other athlete doesn't feel like it on some days but your feelings don't matter when it, at the end of the day, your feelings don't matter. Are you gonna get the job done? Are you gonna do the things that you know other people don't want you to do? You know, they don't want you to get up. They don't want you to eat right. They don't want you to work out. They don't want you to, to go for a run. They don't want you to go and train. They, don't, they want you to sit on the couch and do nothing. They want that feeling of accomplishment that they, whatever they, whatever doubt they had in you, is going to come true to fruition. Like that's, that's it. Same thing that people that the, the, the coaches and everyone that, uh, you know, doubt, doubted Tom Brady back in the day are just now praising this guy because of the things that he's able to accomplish through what, through hard work, through not giving up by using the fuel of people doubting you, hating on you or not believing in you to go and prove them wrong. You know, again, you can use that, like I've seen people do, have a chip on their shoulder, very salty, very sour, inside, the way they talk, the way they think, it's never going to work. Um, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's disheartening, to say the least, because there's people out there that I know that could do better, and they're just not doing better because it's by choice, because it's, they, al they allow themselves to let that thing or that other person or whatever life is trying to throw your way, win. And we're all gonna be tested. I had, a, again, I had a conversation with one of my students, uh, I think it was like last week or the week before, and they're giving me all these things that are happening to them. And my answer back to them was, you're just being tested, man. Like you're being tested. You know, you are being tested to see uh, how bad you really wanna get the thing that you're trying to go get. And if you are gonna allow these things, okay, these obstacles, these, people, these naysayers, these whatever, to take over and beat you, you will not get that. So it's a game, right? Like it's a game. Like it's, to me, that's just what it is. It's like the more, um, again, not that I invite it, not that I go on social media and trash talk and put people down and invite um, the hate because I don't. And everyone that's on my social media pages, no, you guys don't see anything negative come off my pages. It's stuff like this. But I get hate anyways. That fuels me, man. I can't like it's just it. That's what gets me up every day is because I know someone out there wants me to stay in bed. They want me to pull the covers over my head. They want me to sit on the couch. They don't want me to do the things that I'm doing. They don't want my team to go out and win. They don't want to see my students go out and do what they're doing or my business do what it's doing. So that's it. That's the fuel. That's the motivation. It's a chip on my shoulder to continue to just prove people wrong or just stay, you know, just stay in the mix with everything to where, um, you know, they just can't have their way. And that, again, I don't want to just, you know, day after day, just make people sick. Like, dude, this guy keeps talking about Tom Brady. He's in love with this guy. It's, 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 
it's the attitude and the mentality that he has that I can relate to on so many levels that I like. Okay, it's not so much about the football or how he can throw it or what he's really done. It's it it's 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 the mindset that really gets me about this individual, not him and so many other people. Again, the things that I've shared throughout these these episodes, it's three hundred and three episodes. There's a lot of great, you know, the David Goggins, the Jockos, the Eric Thomases, the Les Browns, their mindset, the way they think, trying to push that out there so that maybe it would resonate with you and um, make something click to be like, yeah, you know what? I need to get up and make moves today. Yeah, you know what? I need to go and finish the thing that I started, that I quit on and get back to it and, and achieve the goal that I need to achieve and get healthier and be better so that I can improve like this, the video yesterday, make people around me better because of who I am. Again, there's just things where, um, you know, when it's all said and done, how are you going to be remembered? You know, how, what are people going to say about you? Are the people going to say you helped a lot of people along the way or were you a selfish, self-centered, salty, sour person, negative, um, that just didn't really, you know, do things to your true potential like you should have? That sticks with me all the time. I don't want that. What I want is, yeah, man, that guy excelled, he succeeded, he, he, he continues to be on that path. And not only that, but he's trying to bring other people up with him, you know. So it's, uh, it's good stuff. That chip on the shoulder um, can do a lot of great things for you or it can do a lot of bad things for you. It just depends on how are you going to use it. How are you going to use it? Everyone that walks on this earth has something happen to them. We all got battles that we're dealing with. We're all dealing with some kind of thing inside um, that hurts, but how are you going to use that? You know, how are you going to use that? You're going to use it in a negative way to make things worse for you and make things worse around, um, uh, for the people around you, or are you going to use that chip on your shoulder, the things that hurt you, the things that have, haven't gone your way or the naysayers, the doubters, people that don't believe in you to prove them wrong and go out and do great things and help other people. Okay. Great stuff today, man. Like I just, I just, I love listening to this stuff and I love putting it out there because, Maybe some people it'll just go one ear and out the other or just go right over your head and know some people probably shaking your head right now like yeah you know what I'm letting these things win I'm letting these people win I'm letting this I'm letting life beat me down I'm letting I'm letting these things I need to get back up and get back to work so let's get to work all right guys you have a great day we'll catch you on the next one and for my students I'll see you on the mats later.